I'm Joan Epler. Please join with Dr. Gary Epler, Harvard Medical School. Dr. Epler recently discovered a new life philosophy. It's know who you are moment by moment. Today, we're going to talk about how this applies to feelings from the heart. I'm Dr. Gary Epler. I recently developed the idea of know who you are moment by moment. It's a new way of life. At first, this meant know the brain region you're thinking from. And that's who you are, moment by moment. Recently, I realized there's more to it. Knowing the brain region is only one part. There are three other parts to the story. This is new to me. What are the other three parts? Science has now shown the heart is filled with the same neural cells as the brain. This is a huge breakthrough because this explains the basis for the feelings from the heart that have been talked about for thousands of years. That's what we're going to talk about today. The third part is the belly brain, which we'll talk about next week. And the fourth is the mind, which is outside the body. There's the head brain, the heart, the belly brain, and the mind. Let's talk about the heart today. What are the feelings from the heart? It's kindness. I have a saying, kindness comes from the heart. Being nice is an obligation. Now we have the science. Kindness is a feeling from the heart. Being nice comes from the brain. It's something we've learned. It's not bad, and it's certainly better than being mean, but it's superficial and doesn't have the feeling of kindness from the heart. In addition, the feeling from the heart can be transmitted to other people. They can feel the kindness. Kindness comes from the heart. It's a good feeling. What's others, what are other feelings from the heart? The other one is empathy. Empathy comes from the heart. This means you feel what the other person is experiencing. It's putting yourself in the other person's situation. This is a feeling from the heart, not from the brain. For example, a spouse, a family member, a friend, or a co-worker. Sometimes they want you to listen to how they feel not solve a problem. Experience and the feeling that the other person is going through makes that person feel good because empathy comes from the heart and can be transmitted to the person. This also works for sales. Before you talk about the product or service, listen to the other person's problem with empathy. Sometimes they don't want the problem solved. They want to be heard. Someone to listen to them. Be patient. Think about the other per person. Empathy comes from Empathy the heart. Empathy comes from the heart. Sometimes all people need is for you to listen. Are there other feelings from the heart? The last one is giving. Giving. The feeling of giving comes from the heart. Giving with expecting nothing in return. It's a good feeling. Giving expecting something in return comes from the brain, from the self-thinking, singular brain region. When you do this, you know it. You know you're giving something, so you get something back. And the other person knows it, too. Give from the heart. Give your time. Give your help. Give someone something. Volunteer with expecting nothing in return. It feels good. It feels good it's to give. It's heart. from the heart. We've talked about alpha brainwave time and meditation. Can you experience these feelings from the heart during meditation? Yes, it's called guided visualization. Let's try it. It may seem strange and it's not scientific, but it's supposed to be. It's like dreaming. Take a deep, calming breath and use your mind to visualize. We're going into space. You can be sitting quietly with your eyes closed or your eyes open while walking, hiking, running, or any other activity. We're going to travel to the Andromeda Galaxy, our nearest galaxy neighbor. Let's stop on Mars on the way. Now, Mars, now think about the past history of Mars. What was it like? A civilization or strange life? What about now? Is there life there now on Mars? A silicon-based life? And what about the future? A new civilization? Will we be there? Just think about these events for a moment few moments as we pass on. Now, moving on, as you approach the Andromeda galaxy, begin to visualize a planet. 
it's magenta in color. You near the planet, and now you're surrounded by swirls of vibrant dark blues and dark red colors. As you keep going, you begin to see people, all types of people, all types of personalities. And you soon realize they will never take anything from you. Not one single person will take anything from you. Experience this feeling. This is a feeling from the heart. You can relax. You have no fear. They won't take money. They won't take enjoyment. No one will take your time, your energy, your integrity. No one will criticize you, blame you, or make you feel bad about yourself. This is all a feeling from the heart. There are people everywhere, and not one single person will take anything from you. Experience this feeling. It's a comforting feeling. It's a good feeling. It's from the heart. Then you realize these people are going to give. They're going to give you kindness. They're going to be kind to you. Again, experience this feeling. They will never be mean to you. Only kindness. Experience this. It's warm, pleasant feeling. It's a feeling from the heart. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to normal. Beta brain waves, feeling the feelings good, from the heart and are positive and good. Day. What else does the heart brain do? Makes decisions. The old expression of what is your heart telling you to do now has science confirmation. The heart can make decisions. The neural brain tissue in the heart has one function. It's to keep the body healthy. The heart can make decisions, and they're easier and healthier than the decisions using the brain. The heart has only one-sided decision to keep the body healthy. The brain has both sides of the problem, so there is always a debate going on between the choices. The heart makes a decision that is best for the health. For example, Relationships. The heart will make the healthiest decision for a romantic relationship or a business relationship. Consider taking a new job. The brain will be in a continuous loop of questioning the positives and the negatives. But the heart makes a simple, fast decision based on the healthiest choice. This may sound strange, but it's okay. Listen to the heart. I always thought that the heart knew best. I never realized there's science behind it. And it's okay to listen to your heart for developing relationships and making important decisions in your life. Do you have any closing comments? Know who you are moment by moment. This means know what brain region you're in and getting out of those two bad regions that include the anger center and the self-thinking center. This also means... Use kindness, empathy, and giving feelings from the heart. Listen this to your heart. This is Joan Epler and Dr. Gary Epler closing today's segment. Next health. time, we'll talk about the belly brain.